and welcome to another May Arts video. It's Latrice here and today I'm sharing with you how I create um, a ruffle that I use for banner making. Um, I have my daughter's first communion coming up and I'm using either May Arts ribbon or scrapbooking supplies in all of the decor. So for the banner I've already created the pieces just to show you guys a few of the pieces. This is just the little chalice, which I just die cut on my silhouette. And then I also die cut the banner pieces um, that say, they spell out God bless Anastasia. So, but I want to attach these somehow. So the ribbon that I've chosen, it is uh, CM30 and it's this sheer gold ribbon. So I want to see, I want to show you guys this ribbon. It's a sheer gold ribbon, um, but just alone in one layer, it's pretty thin. So what I wanted to do was create a ruffle as I go and sew along on these banner pieces. So I want to show you how I do this. It's so simple. I get a lot of the ribbon spooled out. I've got my machine set up. I use an upholstery thread um, for things like this. Let me zoom you in just a little bit. I, I use an upholstery thread, um, just a white, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to give this a banner cut on the end real quick, just so it's pretty. Okay, so then I just have a 45 degree angle on that. Um, so I'm going to give myself probably about a foot or so. And I'm just going to layer this. Actually, I'm sorry. What I did was I created my ruffle first. And then I went back with a stapler. And I um, stapled my pieces to that. So what I'm using is the Tim Holtz stapler to attach my banner pieces to the ribbon. So let me show you how I create this ruffle. And it's just a very rough ruffle. And I'm going to do it along the top of the ribbon here. Put my presser foot down. And then as I go along, I'm just going to manually um, create the ruffle with my fingers. So I am not worried about how, um, how perfect the ruffle is because I know that it's going to be kind of a backdrop to the banner pieces. All right, so let me show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to start out with just creating my beginning here. And then as I go, you can see that I'm just going to, let me fix this light. I'm, sorry. I'm just going to fold these pieces as I go. So you can kind of see back here how I'm getting just a very eclectic ruffle. Not um, perfect at all. This is what I was going for. And then I would just keep on going. So I'm going to leave that attached because I do want to finish that. But I want to show you how I went along and attached this to the ribbon. So I literally just took this, layered that stitch behind it. So now nobody even knows there's a stitch there. Can you see that? Alright, so then I'm going to leave, I'm going to give myself a little bit of space at the top. Get my stapler here. And attach that to the back. So now I have this really cool, crazy ruffle 
going on at the top of this and behind this, which I really love. So I hope you can see this. The light is really not the greatest. So you can see that ruffle behind there. And you could raise this a little bit more. I could probably flip this. I might actually flip it and so that I could have a taller ruffle sticking out of the top. But I just wanted to quickly show you how easy it is on your sewing machine to make a very fun, just crazy ruffle. And then I usually just staple things to my banners. It's that easy. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching my super fast tutorial. Um, please be sure to visit the blog to see the finished banner and details on how I created the banner pieces. Thanks so much. Bye.